And new tonight, easing racial tensions at CCSD schools. The district now trying to take some action after some highly publicized incidents. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. Parents tonight are questioning how the district treats minority students. A board trustee held a panel discussion at Chaparral High School tonight. As 13 Action News anchor Carla Wade reports, parents want less talk and more answers. A few dozen parents crowded into the Chaparral High School library for a panel discussion about racism and bullying. The loose format allowed parents to ask questions. What actions will be taken? And it was soon clear that many also wanted immediate answers. This meeting is just one of a few in recent weeks after two students were arrested for making threats against black students at Arborview High School in March. Then, during a board meeting to discuss those threats, trustee Danielle Ford further inflamed racial tensions when she referred to black students as colored. I believe tonight was the beginning. Soon Davis has several grandchildren who attend CCSD schools. One of them is a student at Arborview. She says he faces some of the same prejudices his father did as a student nearly 30 years ago. It is very disheartening for my grandson to be at a school where the issue is returning. But I can't say it's returning because I don't believe it ever went anywhere. I think what I heard was lip service, right? We want action. Tina Torres' nephew attends Arborview too. I don't know what the answer is, to be honest with you. I just don't want lip service. There's too many kids getting hurt. District G trustee Linda Cavazos hosted. I am hoping that at least to a certain extent, even like a jumping off point, that people will feel that their voices matter and that we are listening to them. Cavazos assured parents the district is hearing the criticism, but needs time to implement changes. I think everything has to start somewhere, but we have to make sure that's not just what it does, start. We got to make sure that things are accomplished. Carla Wade, 13 Action News.